So good evening to Gen Beauties. Today I am joined by my partner in crime, Sophia, my daughter. And I am super excited because I received my Beauty Box 5 Eco Chic Box and it's unopened. I have no idea what is in here. Um, and just to give you a little bit of background on Beauty Box 5, I was a subscriber for three months. I bought the three month package, which averaged out to about $10 a box. It's usually $12 a box. And I stopped getting it because I kept receiving products in there that were not cruelty free. And if you follow me, you follow my blog, you watch my videos, you know that I try to only use cruelty free products as much as possible. And that's really all that I'm like willing to go for anymore. Um, so my favorite box right now is Petit Boar. So if you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. I have a couple of unboxings on that. But I mean, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about Beauty Box 5. So this is the Eco Chic Box. And I'm going to read you the description that totally sold me when I received this in my inbox. So it says... Oh, hold on. Whether you're sick of slathering your body with ingredients you can't pronounce or want to embrace an all-natural allure, this is the limited edition box for you. We love this collection of organic, vegan skincare and makeup because it's free of parabens and harsh chemicals and leaves you gorgeous and glowing. Going green never looked so good. So. Everything in here should retail for over $100, and I paid $39. So I'm really hoping, and I have my fingers crossed, that there is some good stuff in this box. All right, let's pop this baby open. Like, I have not watched any unboxings. I have literally no idea what is in here. And before I stab myself. It's literally just like a regular brown box and inside is another box. there is another box, box. so Christmas way to be day. eco chic beauty box two boxes obviously I recycle but still it so kind of defeats the purpose don't you think no, I'm upside down so here is the box there you go. Give a quick look. And I'm just going to dive right in. So I have the little card that says Eco Chic Limited Edition Box. Really cute. Sick and tired of using products, blah, blah, blah. We already went through all that. Well, here's your cure, you Eco Chic Beauty You. From crushed almonds to Lang Lang, this box of all natural favorites will whip your skin into shape without leaving you tongue tied too. And then, oh, there's stuff on the back. So here is the card. And then on the back is everything that should be in the box, I'm assuming. And what do you have in your hand? A refresh cash skin therapy. I'm guessing it's like a coupon. It's $10 off. $10 off your purchase at refreshskintherapy.com slash bb5. I'm assuming this is one of the brands in here. So let's put that over to the side. And then there's another, there's actually a couple of cards in here. So then there's another card that says receive 20% off your order with code beauty20 at rusticmaca.com. And once again, I'm assuming it's one of the brands in the box. So that is the front, that is the back. And we have nothing on one side. So this one says, would you lather instead of haha, would you rather? So would you lather? Oh, Natural, wow. yeah, it's cute. Natural bath and body products handcrafted in Fairland, Indiana. Luxurious spa quality products uniquely scented with essential oils. Love me some essential oils. And I am sorry, my, my dogs are eating dinner. I literally came home and the box was here and I was like, ah, I need to film an unboxing. So $10 off a $20 purchase online at www.wouldyoulather.com. This actually does not expire until June 1st, 2015. 
and it is code BB5. So if you guys want to go shop at Would You Lather and you want to get a coupon, it is code BB5. Yeah, this one is also BB5. All right, so I'm just going to dive in. I don't know what I want first. Let's go little first. Let's go little first. So I've got the Dancing Goat Mambo Mint <laughs> Mambo, Mambo Mint Lip Balm. Uh, regular size lip balm. Do you have lip, anything on your lips? I have lipstick on, so I'm not going to try this. So will you try it? Yes, I will. So let me show. You guys can see it very well. It is the Mambo. It's too much glare. The dancing goat. It's literally a picture it's of a, a dancing goat. Yeah, it's a picture of a dancing goat. And it's sealed, which is always nice. So let's unseal this puppy. This goat. And Sophia will test it because I've got my lipstick on. I just came from school, so. Can it I smells, smell? yes. Minty-ish. Yeah, minty. I don't know why I was expecting mango, but it's not mango, it's mambo. So it's just like a mint lip balm. It feels good. On my lips. Put the top it's like a on. typical lip balm. So I'm always, you know, down for a lip balm. I use them at night a lot before Ooh, I go to bed. Like that. We've talked about this on the channel before. I get dry at night. So I always put lip balm and like my rosehip oil and stuff like that. Another drum roll. All right, I'll go big. I'm going big. Oh, Three girls holistic cleansing grains. A harmony of nature, health, and beauty. And I'm... So this... Is, I'm trying to figure out what this is. So it's organic oat. It's got clay. So it's probably like a facial cleanser. So directions. Mix one to two teaspoons with water and apply in a circular motion to a damp face and neck. If time allows, leave on for five to ten minutes as a mask and then rinse. Can also be used with a liquid facial cleanser. So that's always good. You can kind of mix them. Our cleansing grains are gentle enough for daily use. Cool. And I think it was sealed, but I think the seal is like stuck in here. I think it just got stuck. So it smells like a, a, a clay mask I have. It does smell like clay, but it smells like tea tree too. And I look in here and I can see that there's tea tree essential oil and lavender. It has a lot of great ingredients, so let me just tell you what's in here. There's oat, oat tops, rasool clay, rasool clay, white kaolin clay, almond, chamomile, chamomile flower, comfrey leaf, lavender, poppy seed, rose petals, oh, I love rose petals, essential oils of lang lang and tea tree. Sorry so to interrupt. I can, I can smell that. But I was reading the ingredients for the lip balm, and it has cocoa butter, coconut oil, sunflower oil, goat milk, oh, there's milk essential no oil, <laughs> grape seed extract, and vitamin E oil. Goat milk. Oh, that's I was, interesting. I had to say it because it had goat milk, and I was like, so, goat milk. I don't know. I don't think that that's really okay. vegan if there's goat milk in it, but... Okay. I mean, that's cool. I mean, I'll use it. No I problem. Put goat milk on my lips. It's okay. You want? Did you smell this? You want to smell it again? I smelled it. It smells good. I can see myself mixing this in with my regular cleanser and using it that way. It's pretty big quantity. It's three ounces. Threegirlsholistic.com. And um, I could see myself doing a mask too. This would be a good mask for you. For sure, because it kind of draws, clay always draws all the impurities out. So, are you next? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh my god, throwback Wednesday. No, you can do it. I don't want to make people laugh so much. <laughs> so, the next thing in here that Sophia pulled out is a lip scrub. And it's a sugar lip scrub. Stir gently. Stir. Gently scrub, remove excess, and apply a natural lip balm. So, these two can work together. 
Teamwork. Teamwork, people. Teamwork. Oh, I this know. is the Would You Lather. This is the Would You Lather oh, product. Would You Lather. So it's right here. All right, and I can't, I'm not going to put on a scrub because I've got lipstick on. I'm not putting that on either because you know how yeah. the last time I put a scrub on? I didn't know how to work it. I was doing like a julep unboxing and it was, I had a lip scrub and I was like, how does this work? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, I could it wasn't it working totally right. Made me laugh. All right, so it's in a cute little bag, and it comes with its own little spatula, which I love. And let's see. Go, we're supposed to mix it. I know, I'm going, I'm going. So it smells like brown sugar. Can I smell? Yeah, it smells like the, the julep one. Like, if you remember that one, that's what it smells like. Oh, it smells like, can I smell it? Our dogs. One day I'm gonna film a meet my dogs video. So yes, you guys like can we actually... gotta do like, cause there's tags, and you gotta do the tags. Don't forget to subscribe, please. We need it. Thumbs up, subscribe. Thumbs up and subscribe. Alright, so that smells good. I mean, that's good. I mean, I already have a, a sugar lip scrub too. I have one from Lush. Um, which is really, really nice. But this one is more of like a consistent consistency. Like it's actually like a liquid, like a, I don't know, like a gel type thing. Whereas the one I have from Lush is drier. It's not like together at all. It's like literally a powder. So this is cool. I'll use it. Plus it's a cute right name. Back. Would you lather? All right, so the next thing in here, I don't know where she went. The next thing in here is, ooh, the Refresh Skin Therapy Reveal Pre-Peel Rose Glow Cleanser. I love cleansers. I have tons of them. Like right now I'm using the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Cleanser and I love it, absolutely love it. So it's gonna be in my faves video. All right, so this is a rose cleanser. Yeah, it smells good. It's like, it smells just like rose. It's very lightly scented though. I don't know if you can see that really well. Gentle but powerful cleanser, removes impurities and restores skin's natural pH balance to prepare skin for any professional exfoliation. Rose hip seed oil, which I'm a huge fan of. So it's just like a wash to use before you do anything major. Oh, cool. A deodorant. Hey. That's Sam. Sam. Sam the man. This is a Patchy Wild Meadows deodorant. Hey! He's mean to Star because she's little. Wait till she gets big, then he's going to figure out what's going on. Trying to open the deodorant. <gasps> my little Star, my baby. That Star. That's my little baby. That's my baby. You can go back down now. All right, so this is the deodorant. I think I pronounced it correctly with the word patchy. Oh, twist, duh. Um, I have huge issues with deodorant. I always have to buy like the extra strength, clinical strength, deodorant because literally nothing works ever since i had my children i always like sweat and smell it's just no fun i tried a natural deodorant from like a local market around here and it was up like a pomade but it was really grainy and it it irritated me and it literally like left my armpits like chafed and red this one is more of like a deodorant stick like you usually see but my question is it's a deodorant but is it also an antiperspirant because what's perspirant? i mean it, it stops you from sweating 
Oh yeah, as well. Okay. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I live in South Florida, so it's always hot. Like, we had a, a cold front for one day, and like two days ago. Morning. It was like the, the lowest was like 80. 75. Yeah, it was like 70, 75. Like, that's like a I've cold front for us. To, I never seen so, snow, so, I'll try that out and let you guys know how it goes. What's next? Next, my favorite thing of all mascara. This chick and her mascara. I love it so much. I don't know why. It's like my obsession. Okay, so it's a Glam Natural Mascara. Yes, mascara. Open it up. It's 7.7 7 grams and 0.25 ounces. Oh, this is cool. You can actually see the mascara. Like, oh, that's neat. I don't know if you can see, but like you see there, it's like it's lighter, and you can actually see the mascara. Let's look at the brush. The most important thing of the day. <laughs> the brush. It's in black. Oh. Oh. oh, it's a UK brand. Very cool. This is the brush. Let me see. Oh, that's a good brush. I like it. I like I a thick do this I don't brush. Have so cool! You can actually see the mascara. So you know how much my, how much you have left. And it's a nice bottle. Let me like, see the logo. Glam natural. It's like Glam a, natural. No, it's just like G. G mm -hmm. So I know this one's obsessed with mascara. I, I get mascaras and I just give them to her. I didn't. I used my Be A Bombshell from my Ipsy bag. Whatever. What's next? Oh, I don't know. It was glittery, so I got it. I love glitter, too. It okay, like... it says, let's connect. Nope. Yeah, it has just has. It's from Gabriel's Good D. Good. Tidings. Good tidings .etsy .com, at Gabriel's Good Tidings on Instagram. And bit dot ly slash good kings good tidings on email like this is it okay next I don't know it's really cute it's sparkly and I love sparkles. I know but what is it what is this okay let's see what this says insert your favorite lip balm and clip on your keychain oh. purse backpack or diaper bag how cute is that so what turns we can put our little lip. dancing goat. And it even matches because it's, it's purple. purple. So you just put your lip balm in there. And you clip it on. And you clip it wherever you want to go. And this is cute. That's what this is. Insert. That is very cute. It is. So it makes your lip balm like to go. Easy access. Like you know where to go to find it. Like on your purse, your backpack, or if you're a mommy, a new mommy, on your diaper bag. So that is everything in my box. I'm very depressed. Um, Easter bag. All right. Let's so let's recap really quick. See if I can hold everything in my hands. Stab it. Why you do that? Do the scrub. So we've got. All of this right here, and these, as you can see the label, and then the lip balms in here. Come on. Yeah, there you there go. go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six items. Um, and oh, and the cards. Two coupons. Two coupons. Cool. I will go ahead and. Um, oh, the full prices are on here. Oh, cool. So I will go ahead and include that in the description below so you can see what the value of my box was. Where you can subscribe as well. Where you can subscribe and do my thumbs up um, so that you know, was my box really worth the $39? Um, so I'm pleasantly surprised because I thought I was gonna see some brands that I knew. And these are all brands that I've never heard of, which I love, I love hearing about new brands and I and they're all vegan they're all cruelty free so that makes me a happy camper um, so to me I think it was worth it but just check out the description and let me know what you think 
hold the phones. This mascara was $28. $28. $28. And the Gabriel's Good Tidings, that little thing there, was $16 for this. So, some of, these, some of these retail values And then the rest, a little high. The Rustica, the deodorant thing, was only $8.95. That's not bad. That's not bad for deodorant, because really, a yeah. critical strength deodorant is like $8. Yeah. And the uh, Three Girls Holistics, that's that powder was $22 and would you lather the sugar lip scrub was $7 that's not bad and the refresh skin therapy that's was $21.95 and the dancing goat this little thingy with the goat milk in it was $3.99 okay that's not bad shipping and handling yeah. that's not bad so thank you for joining me with my beauty box 5 eco chic unboxing and don't forget about me and let's give a little shout out and a thank you to sophia for joining us tonight so this is You're her really first welcome. video that she joins me on and uh stay You're gonna tuned. be seeing a lot more of me if i allow her she has to go do her homework now i already finished it well, don't, I mean, don't make I'll me talk about questions. don't make me talk about it on camera yeah. So, thank you for watching and stay in touch. Bye bye.